Shalom Ya Sharala First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honour and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son Yahawah Bahashem Yahawah Shai Bahashem Racha Kwadash Double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth Double salutations to the Akiyam out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity and Shalom to the few Aqua that are listening in today um, I'm back at you with another lesson entitled The Spotlight is on Esau Alright, because you see The thing about this truth is You can't do anything Against this truth You know, you try and do anything against this truth And all it does Is further forward this truth Onto a whole nother level Alright, you've got Esau Trying to ridicule those That are um, exposing him for who he is You know, the devil that he is all right, which Esau, by the way, is the so-called white man, okay, and um, he can't hide himself, man. You know, Esau has got a lot to pay for, and you see, when that judgment comes, it's gonna be so great because um, they've lived, they've lived um, voluptuously. You know, they didn't think the day would come where they would have to pay for all their sins. All right, they forgot that part. That was written in prophecy all right they didn't consider their latter end you see so now you've got esau being exposed for the devil that he is you know you've got all uh, all of his wicked acts coming to light everything that he's done in the dark is now coming to light you know you've got these celebrities uh, uh exposing them for being for not being the real jews as they claim they are all right, there's a particular basketball player. I think his name is uh, uh, Kyrie Irving, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I'm not too familiar with basketball, so Salaki, if that's not his name. But you know, he's coming up and exposing these devils as well, man. So it, it's not just Ye, all right? And, and really and truly, all these Jake celebrities, they know the truth. But not all of them are gonna expose Esau because uh, they don't wanna lose that bag. You know, they still wanna get paid, all right? They don't want to be X'd out They don't want to be cancelled So they're, so they're going to keep their mouths quiet man But you see The Lord has got a special judgement for them man Because they have furthered the affliction On the nation of Israel By keeping silence Alright But anyways Let's jump into the precepts real quick Alright So this is Job 9 and 24 by the way Looking at this image here The earth is given into the hand of the wicked Alright And this is the wicked Okay These are these are the people responsible, or some of the people responsible for all the heinous crimes and un unrighteous decrees that go forth throughout the whole planet Earth, all right? And they're getting ready to pay for it, man. You know, and it, you <laughs> the way the land of America, AKA Babylon the Great is gonna be destroyed, it says in Revelation 18, that in one hour, so great riches come to naught, you know, because it's only going to take the Lord one hour to completely destroy this devil's kingdom, man. One hour. It's taken them, what, sub 500 years to build it up to where it is now. All for it to come crashing down and burning in an hour. And then for them to go into uh, slavery for a thousand years under the Israelites. You know, it sucks to be Esau, man. That's the truth. All right. They tried to make us feel bad for being the Lord's chosen people. But, you know. The truth is coming to light, man. And we're being glorified. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the precepts. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. And it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, uh, except there be a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition and that's exactly what's happening right now you know because right now as it stands it's clear as day to see who who, who the true uh, devils are man you know the deceivers and that's none other than the so-called white man Esau Edom it's clear to see who is the seed of the wicked you know for a long time these Edomites try to portray us the Israelites the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans as the wicked ones, you know? 
and then they had us pretty much committing wickedness in autopilot you know putting us in the uh, uh, low states of living you know council houses or the projects uh, putting drugs in our in our um, in our uh, what you call it in our neighborhoods you know turning us against each other so now you, you got Jake smoking weed uh, in gang gang banging you know and, and that's a whole culture man you know to live lawlessly that's a whole culture for these Israelites man so these Edomites have got the chosen people sinning in autopilot because they know that as long as we don't follow the law statutes and commandments of Yahweh Shem Shai, they can always uh, rule over us because they know that it's sin that separates us from our power man and as long as we're in a perpetual state of sinning the Lord will work against us and they know this that's why society has been set up the way it is man but as I said the spotlight is on Esau now you know that that veil is being uncovered the Lord is revealing all things and this is how we know we're at the end man because Esau hasn't been put on blast like this ever you know but now there's so many different things happening on top of Esau being put on blast you know you can't say this ain't the end man you know we are here now you see he who shall endure until the end the same shall be saved all right so you know what a time to be an Israelite in this truth this is the time where all the prophets of old have waited for man you know the prophets of old always ask the Lord how long how long do we have to endure this man how long do we have to endure having our enemies ruling over us us being at the bottom you know how long well the time is now man the Lord is about to um, free us you know he's about to redeem us man so man which is all praises to Yahweh and um, in the name of the Holy Spirit you see in the Hebrew this is the book of um, let's go to the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14 and it reads um, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea and, and that's exactly what's happening now man and the knowledge of the Lord it starts with, with for our people it starts with knowing who you are all right knowing that you're the Israelites and um, knowing the true name to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten son which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and you know for the rest of the world that's uh, th this comes as um, you know the wicked being revealed Esau Edom being exposed for the devil that he is right and and the, the world waking up to who the true people of the Lord are which again are you Israelites which are the Negroes Latinos and Native Americans not these small hats not these so-called Jewish people they're the the, the, uh, the people of the Lord man they don't fit the curses in Deuteronomy 28 they don't fit you know their women don't fit the curse in Isaiah 3 and 16 where it says that I shall smite, smite um, you know the daughters of Zion's heads with boldness you know there's a reason why the uh, the so-called Negro woman doesn't have hair or hair is not very prominent and that you can read that in Isaiah 3 and 16 and you know you got these fake Jews who try so hard to be the people so what do their women go and do they go and shave their heads and they wear wigs all right but you see that's that's just forced man you know you are not the people of the lord point blank period habakkuk 2 and 15 woe unto him that giveth his, that giveth his neighbor drink that puttest thy bottle to him and makest him drunken also that thou may look on their nakedness and that's exactly what esau has done you know all, all these um other nations have drunken of the wine of Esau which means they've pretty much uh, cultivated the, the um, philosophies of Esau Edom right you know they, they've, they've taken it on board they've taken it upon themselves and they said yep you know 
we're following the ways of Esau and you know pursuing to Psalms 83 all these nations right are confederate against thee they will come in agreement to you know do their part of making sure that the, the, the true people of the Lord stay at the bottom so that they can keep their power all right but see their time is over man all is being revealed right now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai you know the Lord is exposing these people through the spirit of his mouth you know he's putting the spirit on his mouthpieces which are the prophets you can read Luke 1 and 70 all right and, and you know these devils have nowhere to hide man all right all is coming to light uh, Habakkuk 2 and 16 thou art filled with shame for glory drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto thee and that's us you know the Israelites the, the prophets who are exposing these devils who are speaking out against uh, his heinous acts exposing him for the devil that he is all right the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto thee and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory because at one time you know let's all admit it man you know because of uh Esau's whitewashing and 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 and, and you know his uh his deceit at one time in our lives let's be honest we wanted to be an Edomite man I remember growing up as a kid you know seeing how these Edomites live th these nice residential areas they got money they they ain't in trouble like 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 Jake is man you know their world is the world is their oyster pretty much all right and on top of that they used to make us feel bad they used to make us feel ugly for for having uh, so-called black features you know melanated skin um big lips big nose yet we're made in the image of the heavenly father man we're made in the image of of of, of uh those that dwell in heaven all right genesis 1 and 26 you see we have the real royal look all right and these edomites they're degenerates man you know they got their blood showing forth in their skin and really and truly um they're leprous man these edomites have leprosy you know to not have that pigment in your skin is leprosy and that's a marker um of their wickedness you know the lord said that he would set a mark upon cain these edomites are the descendants of cain all right so there's no mistaking who the devil is man you see and lord he's getting ready to destroy them man all right the lord ain't for these devils their time is up all right their expiry date has reached and the lord is uh tearing down all their strongholds Let's go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. And uh, verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon, which are modern day Babylon, Babylon the Great, is um, America. Okay. And their influence has spread throughout the four corners of the earth, right? All the, all the other nations have drunk of their wine and I'll render unto Babylon to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight saith the Lord so, so you know you're about to be recompensed Esau for all the evil you've done and furthermore you're going to be recompensed double right verse 25 behold I am against thee O destroying mountain all right, which mountain uh, represents government all right and the lord is against this destroying government of esau edom saith the lord which destroyeth the whole which destroyeth all the earth and i will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and i will make thee a burnt mountain and we know that that nuclear destruction via world war three and that concentrated fire from the from the chariots of the lord are coming upon this earth all right to destroy the stronghold of Esau you see that day is around the corner man you know the prophecies are all lining up so many things are happening all at once 
the MOTB, the C hip is around the corner. You know, this 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 work of the Lord is beautiful, man. All right, we're almost home, Israel. You know, we just gotta hang in there, man. But we can see that our power is real because everything that's written of that's written in the scriptures is coming to life before our eyes, man. So there's no denying the credibility of the scriptures. Okay, let's close out here in uh, uh, this is Second Ezra chapter six and verse twenty-seven, and it reads, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched." Yeah, man, those, those lies ain't gonna work no more, man. They ain't working no more now, Esau. All right, you, you're being revealed. You see, verse twenty-eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome And the truth Which has been so long without fruit Shall be declared And that's exactly what's happening right now man You know This truth is now being fruitful You've got the, the, the great awakening Happening across the four corners of the earth Israelites all over the world Waking up to the truth man Waking up to who their enemy is And waking up to who their power is Alright so what a beautiful time to be an Israelite in this truth, man. We're soon home, man. All right? So anyways, I've arrived at my destination. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. And until the next time, I say shalom.